extensor policies preface, the origin, it arises from the posterior surface of the radius and the interosseous membrane. Insertion into the base of the proximal pharynx of the thumb. The action, it extends the proximal pharynx of the thumb at the metacarbopharyngeal joint. Innervation at the posterior osseous nerve, which is part of the radial nerve. The extensor pollicis pervis is important because it's part of the decor vein tenosynovitis. Extensor tendons are arranged into six compartments at the rest, the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis are located at the first extensor compartment of the rest and are involved in de Courvain syndrome. Sometimes the extensor pollicis brevis has its own subsheath, so it is hiding in its own space, and if the surgeon failed to recognize this anatomical variation, the surgery may not work and will be a failure of decompression of the first compartment of the rest with recurrence of symptoms. Decorvain syndrome occurs more in women and they have an association between the postpartum state and the development of that syndrome. The condition is usually diagnosed by having radial sided wrist pain and basically the tenderness would be over the first dorsal compartment at the level of the radial styloid, not five centimeter proximal to the wrist joint as that occurs in intersection syndrome. Finkelstein test is usually very helpful in diagnosing de Courvain syndrome. Finkelstein provocative test. And here how the test is done. Please note that the extensor pollicis brevis travels with the abductor pollicis longus in the first extensor compartment of the rest, and it forms the lateral margin of the anatomical snuff box. I hope you liked that video. If you liked the video, please push the button like, and thank you for listening. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.